Hey y'all, it's Coach K and I want to welcome you to episode 3 of a series I like to call So Pro. Throughout this series, I've been utilizing the shoe making process to teach you about vital life skills. Last week, we talked about the mold and inspection process, which is phase 2 of the shoe making process. This lesson taught us that the pits of the valley actually mold the mountaintops. Everything we go through in life has the potential to impact us in a positive way or a negative way, but it's up to us to decide how we utilize the things that we go through and the experiences that we have. Our experience is our expertise. God utilizes the good, the bad, and the ugly to create a certain level of grit and stamina in us so that we can fulfill his will and his purpose for our life. Every part of the journey is vital. God created us to handle high pressure situations because he lives inside of us and he's here to help us manage it. Another thing that phase two taught us is that self checks and inspections are important. And we, this framework teaches us that we must conduct self checks and inspections often and that accountability is a major key. All right, so this week we're gonna be talking about phase three of the shoe making process, so y'all stay tuned. I don't know about y'all, but in all honesty, some of the things that I've been through, the past things, the hurt, the pain, the trauma, the mistakes I've made, just all those different things tend to like creep back up sometimes and causes me to feel uh, a pause. Like it causes me to like stop and think and um, it kind of distracts me at times. And I'm sure that many of you have had moments like that where you just been going throughout your day and then you're instantly reminded of something that happened or something triggers you and makes you think about a bad experience. Or the people that are around you constantly remind you of your past. These types of things sets up traps in your mindset. And when those things are set in your mind, it tends to hold you and cause you to be in a holding pattern. You tend to feel like you're not worthy of happiness and joy or that you or you feel like it's not even an option for you in your life. And that's not the truth. That is the most that is one of the biggest misconceptions in life, honestly. You are worthy of joy, you are worthy of happiness, and you are worthy of starting over and doing what you can to become more like Christ. So whenever you allow yourself to be in this type of holding pattern, you tend to self-sabotage and hold yourself back from progressing. And a lot of us have been in that space before. Some of us have overcome it, but I think we, it's safe to say that we've all experienced that. Some of us have found our identity and our hurt and our pain, so we tend to hold on to it because we don't want to let it go because then who are we without it? Instead of, instead of adjusting, you will rather stay connected to bad things, bad people, bad situations, and let yourself wallow in your pity. But I just wanted to come and tell you today that those things don't serve you at all. Whenever you're in this space, you have to rely on God and you have to ask Him to help you manage these things. Ask him to help you forgive and heal and move past these things because all of those things are setting up camping your mindset and they're blocking you from truly becoming who you're supposed to be. Or it's blocking you from the resources and the things that you need to learn in order to become the person that God needs you to be. So I know that many of us deal with this and many of us have huge dreams, big dreams that we want to accomplish. But until we get this piece right, it's gonna be difficult for us to elevate. I truly believe that step three of the shoe making process could give us some insight on how to evolve and to move on. So y'all stay tuned. All right, so the third step to the shoe making process is the sneaker cut and sewing phase. The manufacturer takes a look at the 3D design, selects the fabric for the shoe, then starts the cutting process. If the shoe order is large, the manufacturer will use the die cut method. This process allows them to cut multiple pieces of fabric at once. If the order is smaller, the manufacturer uses the laser cut method. After the fabric is cut, it's marked to indicate the size of the shoe. Then it moves on to the sewing process. Sewing the fabric together requires a really heavy duty sewing machine and it also requires a skilled team. The sewing machines used for this job allows the sewers to tw twist and turn the fabric in different directions, but the needle always stays steady. This process is very detailed. In every section of the assembly line, a different part of the shoe is sewn together 
and extra support is added as needed. Understanding the designer's original intent for this design is necessary to complete the task. All right, so this space demonstrates the importance of selecting the right fabric and implementing a cutting system. It encourages us to evaluate everything around us to make sure that we are producing great quality. Following the designer's pattern, implementing systems, and, and having the right team will be clutch in life. Just like the sewing machines, we have to roll with the twists and turns, but we have to stay locked in on fulfilling our purpose. A lot of things fall through the cracks because we don't have systems in place, but being efficient and organized will help you know what to cut ties with and what to hold on to. If people, things, and situations don't align with the original design God created for you, then you gotta cut it. If you don't have a support system around you that's there to support and push you towards your purpose, you gotta cut it. Although others have done you wrong, sometimes the root of the issue is you. You're the common denominator, so it's important that you build systems that will help you establish standards and morals. Setting up these types of things helps you to teach others how to treat you, and it teaches you how to treat others. When you realize that you have been extended grace, you're more likely to extend the same grace. So evaluating yourself and making sure that you understand um, what's, what's negotiable and what's non-negotiable is going to be very vital to your life. I believe that step three of the shoe making process has given us four steps to implement that will teach us how to protect our purpose by protecting our peace. I like to call these four steps the four P's. Past, people, pride, and purpose. Honestly, these four categories, these four areas have the opportunity to impact our lives in such a major way. If we learn how to manage each one of these categories, I truly believe that we'll be able to become unbothered. <laughs> we'll be able to reach that lovely destination of unbotheredness and that is the goal of our life so the first key is the past now this one right here I feel like is one of the major steps or the major issues in our lives because it's something that happened way back then but it still has a hold on us today and i think sometimes we don't know how to break ourselves from it because we never acknowledged it or we never really truly handled the situation but i'm here to tell you that your past is truly something that you can do absolutely nothing about like it happened it's over with you acknowledge it you try to reconcile you try to fix the situation but you cannot allow it to hold you or keep you in a holding pattern. Honestly, focusing on the past and looking behind you takes your focus away from the future and what's right in front of you. And when you allow your mind to travel back and continue to replay those things, you're distracting yourself and causing yourself to be distant. So I pray that you would truly let go of your past experiences, forgive those people, forgive yourself, let go of the the hurt and the pain. Let go, let God and say it's above me now, honestly, because at the end of the day, you can do nothing about it. It's nothing you can do to impact it. It happened and it's done. All right. The second P is pride. Now this one right here, right in the heart, y'all. Like. We all have had moments where we're prideful, where our pride was hurt, and we acted out of that pain, and we started to, you know, say it with our chest, like we really were in charge, and God had to humble us a little bit. I want you to know that pride is never the way. Do not let your actions be led by pride, because pride is based in feelings and emotions, which is the most unpredictable, unreliable, source <laughs> you do not want to make decisions based off of your pride or your pride being hurt because later on you will pay for those mistakes you will pay for that in the long run so do not allow your feelings to dictate what you're going to do you have to stay focused on the goal the purpose and the will of god and let that guide you and lead you The third P is people. People tend to move differently based on who they are, based on what they value, based on their standards and their moral compass. 
Now, you have no control over what people do, but you do control how you let it affect you and how you allow it to change your character. So, when it comes to people, I want you to be very intentional about who you allow in your circle. You should always be mindful of who you spend time with because ultimately, they're impacting your life just like you're impacting their lives. So you wanna ask yourself questions to make sure that the people and the things around you are, are serving you and helping you to move towards the next P, which is purpose. And the last P is purpose. Purpose is one of those things where I feel like people feel like they're searching for it forever, just searching for their purpose, searching for their purpose. But honestly, I really feel like your purpose is literally lying right in front of you. God tells us what he wants us to do in so many different ways. Now, how we comprehend what he's saying is what <laughs> is what changes the, uh, the context of what he said. And I think that it's very important for us to, to practice being in God's presence. Make this a habit. Make building a relationship with God a stakeholder in your life. Because the more you spend time with him, the more you learn how he speaks to you. And you, you are able to become so in tune with God that you know that you know that you know. And you don't have to question it. Because you know how he spoke to you before. And you understand the patterns and the things that happened before. So you tend to erase all that little gray area where you deny it or where you doubt what God told you because you know who you are in him. And then you also understand how he speaks to you. And you know that when you get that information, you have to move. So your purpose is probably laying right in front of you. He probably already told you what to do. And he probably already showed you pieces of it. But it's going to take you being willing to take the first step in order to continue to get the visions and continue to get the insight that you need to continue building. Your purpose is not just going to land in your lap. Like if it was that easy, we all would know and we all would um, be thriving right now. But I do feel like there is a payment for that purpose. There's always a sacrifice involved. Sometimes it's time. Sometimes it's your gifts and your talents. And at times, it's all of those things. <laughs> so you got to be willing to sit down and hear from God so that you can know what you need to do and you can find your self-assurance in his word. I created a worksheet to help you work through the four Ps and evaluate your situation, the people in your life, and yourself. If you would like to download it, visit www.level27coaching.com and click on the blog entitled Sneaker Cut and Sewing Phase. Also, follow us on all platforms at Level 27 Coaching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, y'all. Until next time, stay focused, keep grinding, and respect the process. I'm Coach K. Be sure to come back next Thursday so that you can check out Episode 4 of the Soul Pro Series. All right. Talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.